Um, okay, I will call to uh, order the regular meeting of the Board of Public Works for February 16th, 2021. Uh, first up, we have messages from the board. Any messages from the board tonight? A big thank you to the crews and everyone involved in this amazing cleanup of, of a lot of snow this week uh, already. And thanks again. Take care. Be safe. Yeah, and I would just echo um, Beth's remarks. Um, I'm hugely thankful to everyone who's been working to get the roads uh, clear. And of course, all of our neighbors who are working to get sidewalks clear and, and everything that um, you know everybody has to go through during this time. Um, and thank everyone in advance for patience this week, um, not only as people continue to clear uh, their own sidewalks and uh, as crews continue to clear the roads, but also um, as you manage your sanitation this week uh, in preparation for probably a larger amount for next week and just thanks for understanding in this um, current situation. Thank you so much, well said. Alrighty, next up we have petitions and remonstrances. Uh, this is an opportunity for public comment on anything that's not on the agenda. Do we have any public comment on anything not on the agenda tonight? I do not see any. Okay, thanks. All right, next up we have Title VI Enforcement, permission to abate property 410 South Highland Avenue. Hello, Mike Arnold from Housing and Neighbor Development. Um, this is a property we've been issuing citations to since 12-17, uh, 2020. Uh, we also did citations on January 12th, January 21st, and February 4th and have yet to see anything removed from the property. Um, on this property, there is a lot of trash and debris, um, miscellaneous items, there's upholstered furniture and tires as well. And we're asking permission to uh, abate the, the property. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Do we have any questions from the board? Any public comment? I do not see any, and I'm not sure that we actually have any members of the public uh, participating live this evening, so. Okay. Thank you. Do we have a motion? I move that we give permission to abate the property at 410 South Highland Avenue. And I second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is the consent agenda. On the consent agenda is the approval of minutes for February 2nd, 2021. The uh, approval of payment to Beacon Shalom for the COVID isolation shelter and approval of payroll. Any questions or anything that needs to be removed from the consent, consent agenda tonight? And I'll call for any public comment. I do not see any. Okay. Uh, do we have a motion? I move to approve the consent agenda. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Okay, first up under new business, we have approval of the bike lane closures and right of way use on North Walnut Street for the Miller Pipeline. Hi, this is Paul Kerberg from the engineering department. Uh, Miller Pipeline, the contractor for Centerpoint Energy, which is formerly Vectrin, will be installing gas service to a new building at 2815 North Walnut Street. Um, they'll need a bore under the street to install the gas line from the existing main on the east side to the building site on the west side of Walnut. Um, they'll need to use the shoulder and bike lane on the west side to provide a safe buffer, buffer space around their work area. Um, currently, they're planning to work from February 17th to March 17th. Um, it won't take that long, but that gives them a little bit of flexibility with the weather. And we've reviewed their request and recommend approval. 
Thanks, Paul. Any questions from the board? I just want to ask if uh, signage has gone up uh, to announce to the public what uh, what the dates will be and when it will be happening. They have uh, they've sent notices to the surrounding. It's mostly just businesses in that area. To let them know their work. The signage in the in the uh, roadway. No, that won't be up until they're actually working. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, uh, any other questions from the board? And public comment? I do not see any. Alrighty, do we have a motion? I move that we approve bike lane closure and right of way use on North Walnut Street for Miller Pipeline. And uh, I would just add, this is also um, giving authorization for Centerpoint Energy, uh, Miller Pipeline doing the work, I think, on their behalf. Okay. I know that's not on mine, but that's, that's good. Thank you. And I will second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I didn't hear an aye from you, Kyla. <laughs> Sorry, I think we overlapped. Aye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so motion and second, all in favor, and motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Next. One of you would go with a little bit more a pirate eye to it, you know, um, uh, we'd be able to distinguish them better. So, which is <laughs> would like. Oh, man. All right. Next up, we have the approval of the 2021 partnership agreement with Buskirk Chumley Theater Management. Hi there, uh, Sean Starowitz, ESD. Sorry, let me bring up the staff report, jumping between various uh, programs. Um, yeah, so staff recommends this uh, approval of the 21, uh, 2021 BCT partnership agreement. Uh, the Buskirk Chumley Theater is owned by the city of Bloomington, has been successfully administered and maintained through a cooperative uh, partnership agreement between the city of Bloomington, Parks and Rec Department, Board of Public Works, RDC, and the BCT. Um, Management Inc. since 2001. Um, so their current agreement expires on March 2020. Um, in 2020, the City Council um, provides 55,000 operational support for the BCTM uh, through an appropriation for 2021 Council Office, which is administered through the Board of Public Works. Uh, the Parks Department provides um, up to 15,000 for eligible maintenance operations um, for the Buskirk Tremley. And then in addition to that, the RDC um, provides up to 74,000 for various repairs based off of uh, physical improvements to the Buskirk Chumley Theater. Uh, this is kind of a, a new transition from um, parks department traditionally oversaw the entirety of the agreement that has kind of shifted now to economic and sustainable development. So uh, our department is kind of overseeing that and that's why we're here presenting this tonight. Uh, there's been no real major changes. We're very happy with BCTM. They've been a, a great ass, asset to our community for since 2001, um, and they are approaching their centennial um, year next year in 2022. So we're really excited about that. They have a new director um, who's been great to work with, Jonah Crismore. Um, and uh, once the pandemic is over, I'm sure they're very excited about opening their doors uh, and letting the community um, use this great uh, cultural venue. So I'm happy to answer any questions you all may have about the partnership agreement or anything else. Thanks, Sean. Is this agreement for a year? Yes, from it's March, year to year. March. Yeah, well, yeah, it goes till 1231. So we're a little bit off cycle. COVID kind of threw us off. Mm -hmm. And then um, with Jonah being new to staff, we wanted to make sure um, their reporting dates matched up with various executive committees and those kinds of things. Um, so this actually goes till 1231 uh, one. Um, and yeah. our, our goal would be that we'd be coming to you all again, probably in December of this year with a new partnership agreement to execute. Okay, thanks for updating that. Thank you. Great, any other questions from the board? Um, and any public comment? I do not see any. Thank you. Uh, do we have a motion? I move that we approve the BCT partnership agreement for 2021. Uh, 
Beth, are you there? Beth, you might be muted. Yeah, yes, second. Okay, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> okay. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you all. Thank you. Next up, we have resolution 2021-02, approve resolution and quit claim deed conveying the 4th Street Garage to the city RDC. Hello, everyone. This is a uh, part of the construction of the new 4th Street Garage, uh, which is financed by bonds that were issued by the Redevelopment Commission. Uh, this is essentially would convey the ownership to the Redevelopment Commission as required by that bond issuance for the life of the bonds. They are a 20 year issuance of a bond. So they were issued in 2020 uh, and that'll last through 2040. I think February 1st, 2040 uh, at the completion of the project. And after the bonds are paid off, the garages would be reconveyed back to the city. But in that time, the ownership has to remain with the redevelopment commission. And so this is part of just the cleanup measure and formalizing that quick claim. I can also tell you that in its meeting that the redevelopment commission had at 5 p.m. today, it approved a resolution to accept ownership and accept the responsibilities of ownership uh, under the quick claim deed. And I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Any questions from the board? And any public comment? Okay. Yeah, I do not see it. All right, I'll call for a motion. I move that we approve resolution 2021-02, approve resolution to quit claim deed conveying the 4th Street Garage to the city RDC. And I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. All right, next up, approve right of way, use and street closures for the city of Bloomington Utilities Department for the downtown stormwater box culvert replacement. That's February 15, 21 to February 15, 23. This is Paul Kerber with the engineering department. A milestone contractors was awarded the downtown stormwater project, uh, the Hidden River project by the city of Bloomington Utilities. Um, as part of this project, there will be numerous phases and temporary street closures and lane restrictions. Uh, the project will start February 15, 2021 and continue until February 15, 2023. Um, we have a construction schedule for Milestone, as well as several maintenance of traffic plans that go with the various phases that they have. And we're asking for approval of the street closures based on their construction schedule. And then they will come to pretty much every board meeting with updates about the project and where they are. Um, Josh Burris with Milestone, has gone door to door to let the residents and businesses know. And he also has uh, helped, can't like I say, come to the work sessions and meetings. And we're recommending approval for the right of way use for this big project for CBU. Great, thanks, Paul. Any questions from the board? No, I don't have a question. I just a comment. This is really a complex project and um, going for a long time. So it's just going to require a lot of <clears throat> continuing notification to the public with, with closures and uh, just ask for their patience in, in um, letting this happen. Necessary, necessary to happen. Thanks, Beth. Uh, the only question I have, was there, were there any issues that have arisen in the conversations with um, the property owners that um, we still need to, to work through or just need to be aware of or make any adjustments to at this point? I'm not aware of any. And I know Josh Burris with Milestone has been very responsive. Any issues that might come up? Sorry, I didn't mean to jump over you there. Yeah, this is Josh Burris with Milestone. Um, to date, we don't have any outstanding issues. Um, everything's been solved within the day or, or a couple days. So I think we're in good shape. Great, thank you. Thank you. Yep, I just re would reiterate what Beth said. Thanks to 
utilities and milestone for working closely with the local businesses and affected property owners on this project. I know you'll continue to work with them throughout the next couple of years <laughs> during the project. So thank you for all your hard work. Um, appreciate it. Uh, any other questions from the board? Any pu public comment? All right, hearing none, um, I'll call for a motion. I move to approve the right of way use and street closures for the City of Bloomington Utilities Department for the downtown stormwater box culvert replacement project. And that's February 15th, 2021 through February 15th, 2023. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next up is approve a model of the BPD firing range by Fox Construction. Yeah, JD Moore, Public Works. Uh, the police department seeks permission to remodel what was the evidence storage area at the uh, BPD firing range into a weight training physical fitness area with bathrooms and shower facilities. Um, the project was designed by Springpoint Architects. Uh, we solicited three quotes for the project. Uh, we had one non-responsive bidder. Uh, the low bidder was, was Fox Construction Company at $68,900. Uh, Strasser Construction also bid at $73,700. Uh, Spring Point reviewed the bids and uh, confirmed that, that both parties submitted a, 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 a appropriate bid. And with Fox being the, the low bidder, uh, we would recommend approval of a contract with Fox for $68,900. Thank you. Any questions from the board? I don't have a question, but I was just going to relay um, what we had discussed during the um, work session, which is that we, you know, recently had completed some um, updates and upgrades to the fire department facilities. And so we had asked earlier in the work session about the uh, the connection or comparability of this work to what had been done there. And um, Mr. Borff had explained at that time that it, it it's similar that the fire department has um, fitness uh, resources distributed throughout the departments, whereas this is in a centralized location. Um, that's the primary difference, but that this is pretty similar to um, the work that's been done with the fire department as well. That's correct. Great, thank you. Any public comment on this item? I do not see any. All righty. Uh, do we have a motion? I move that we approve remodel of BPD firing range by Fox Construction. And I second. All in favor, say aye. 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 One, two, three, aye. aye. <laughs> <laughs> motion passes. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, uh, last up we have approved the lane closure request on Atwater Avenue from Highland to Mitchell by Duke Energy for installation of streetlights. And this is Paul Kerber with engineering department again. Um, Duke Energy is requesting to close one lane of East Atwater Avenue from South Highland Avenue to South Mitchell Street. Uh, this will accommodate the replacement of some streetlights. Um, they're upgrading them to LED lights. And this was approved at a previous board meeting um, the lane closures will take place from February 22nd, and they're guessing it will take a maximum two weeks. They don't anticipate it taking quite that long, and there will not be any sidewalk closures. Um, we've reviewed their request and recommend approval. All right, thank you. Any questions? Okay, any public comment? I do not see anyone. Thank you. Do we have a motion? I move to approve the lane closure request on Atwater Avenue from Highland to Mitchell by Duke Energy for the installation of street lights, and that's February 22nd, 2021 through March 8th of 2021. Second. 
All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you. Thanks. Um, next up we have staff reports and other business. Uh, again, Adam Wason, Public Works Director. Uh, just start out uh, just with another reminder that city sanitation services for the week will be um, canceled. Um, we work today with the leadership team at the sanitation division and the crew leaders and staff members down there to just determine that given the current conditions with the high snow banks and trying to pull the heavy carts up over top of the snow banks to get the rear load routes completed just didn't we just didn't think uh, safety conditions would be uh, good enough to complete those tasks for this uh, rest of this week. And then, you know, throw on top of it that tomorrow night, Wednesday evening, we have the potential for another inch or three of snow or what they're calling for. So, um, but um, so yeah, sanitation services will pick back up next Monday and we'll get back to regular schedules and routes. So we appreciate everybody's patience uh, um, uh, with us and understanding for that. Um, Couple other things to add, real quick. Um, you know, Dana, I know you got a new puppy, but um, you know, your new puppy hasn't made as much noise as mine's making. So if that gets uh, loud, um, I apologize. Um, <laughs> Mine <laughs> I, uh, too. <laughs> I do want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our hardworking crews out there. Um, you know, sanitation was out there on Monday morning, uh, getting routes completed just after that first amount of snowfall got that done. Um, then street department was out all night, Sunday night. And, uh, you know, the staff at the street department really had several straight days of just extreme efforts. Um, you know, and then, uh, like I always like to mention, you know, that they can't all do their jobs if fleet maintenance isn't there helping them, uh, make all the needed repairs and do all the needed maintenance on those trucks as, uh, as we do all those efforts. So, uh, just my, Big gratitude to all the staff out there, uh, all the frontline workers, all the public safety officers, everybody out there trying to keep things safe. Um, you know, conditions are improving. So as of here tonight, um, Tuesday evening um, at 555, Monroe County is back to an orange travel status. Um, so we've gone from uh, the red uh, warning status, which was only emergency travel, um, to the orange, um, you know, travel advisory uh, at a uh, watch level. Um, so, you know, conditions aren't perfect. Neighborhood side streets that don't get much traffic aren't perfect, but uh, I promise you staff has been doing everything they can uh, to try to get things as safe as they can, um, given, you know, what, uh, in, you know, I can think of at least the last decade is the most snow we've had in any given day. Uh, so I just really appreciate all their efforts and say thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, outside of that, again, we could get some more accumulation here over the next couple of days, and um, we'll uh, continue to battle that the best we can. So, um, uh, a couple other things I did want to mention very quickly. Um, we had a couple of recent staff retirements uh, here towards the end of the year in public works. Um, I want to recognize these. Uh, staff at the sanitation division had been with the city for about 10 years, and uh, his most recent capacity, and uh, Roy was able to uh, reach his retirement goals and um, retire here last week. And then I uh, want to send a big shout out to another employee that retired last week. Uh, been with us for well over 10 years in several different public works capacities. Uh, that's John Hartman. Uh, John was a longtime employee of public works in several different roles and uh, all around great guy that uh, always had a good joke and a smile and wonderful attitude would would always just do anything he needed so a uh, big thank you to john and uh, i know beth uh, uh, hopefully we'll get to see a little bit more of uh, john here uh, as well um, but uh, big shout out to john and roy for their recent retirements that's all i have for you thanks adam and I'll just add, I did get a new puppy uh, from the local animal shelter, and it was a wonderful experience there. Uh, the staff was super nice, and it was clean, and it was just a really good experience. So I want to thank the folks over there as well. Um, and we love our new little bundle of joy. <laughs> and she is loud, <laughs> despite, just not right now. <laughs> 
Alrighty, uh, thank you. Next up, we have approval of claims. Any questions on claims from the board? Okay. Any public comment on claims? I don't see any. Alrighty. Do we have a motion? I move approval of claims three million twenty eight thousand four hundred eleven dollars and eighty five cents. And I second. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion passes. And I will call for adjournment. Thank you all.